Well, an overwhelming amount of people, they've been showing up to their local city council meetings, speaking out on this issue, saying no thank you to the L.A. County's uh, potential mask mandate that just might get reinstated tomorrow. So at this point, we have four local cities standing up to this, Long Beach, Pasadena, Beverly Hills, and now El Segundo. The El Segundo City Council, they met last night, and the city council voted unanimously that the city would not enforce a mask mandate if one should go into effect tomorrow. This is all in response to a summer surge of COVID-19 cases fueled by the highly contagious Omicron subvariant, which spreads quickly but is nowhere near as severe. LA County Public Health Director Barbara Frere has been calling to reinstate an indoor mask mandate to stop the spread. On the other hand, several members of the Board of Supervisors disagree, including Catherine Barger and Janice Hahn, who believe we should be aligning with the state, only recommending masks be worn indoors but not making it a universal requirement. Many people not happy about this, calling it excessive and overreaching. Hundreds of people have been showing up to their local city council meetings to ask their respected cities to reject a mandate if one should go into effect. If this goes down again and people are, are very much against it, we're, we're taking, you know, the chance of, number one, businesses really con considerably going down and, and downhill fast. There's, there's no more PPP money to come in there to help them with this anymore. Uh, whatever happens right now is on their own dime. And we're also technically putting employees, some of them, even our own kids, on the front lines of having to tell someone uh, to put masks on when they don't want to. The city cannot legitimately enforce such rules that would violate its constituents' constitutional rights. L.A. County entered the high level of spread on July 14 and has remained there. County officials will make the determination today using criteria established by the CDC. Case rates, however, in the last week have been dropping, so there is hope that the mask mandate will not happen. As of Tuesday afternoon, L.A. County was averaging about 6,000 COVID-19 cases a day, down 11 percent from the week prior, and throughout the state of California, down 17 percent. Now, back out here live, county officials, they are set to make the decision today, and if if it happens, while the mask mandate will go into effect tomorrow, it applies to everyone in indoor spaces over the age of two. I'm Lena Bovin reporting live in El Segundo, KTLA 5 News.